Hi, I'm John Stevens. I am a photographer and an artist, and I am a storyteller, more, most of all. I was always a kid that actually got handed a camera. You know, somebody, I never was in any of the pictures, but I was always a kid who was around and they say, go take some pictures of everybody. So that was me. And that's what my introduction to photography was. You know, always taking family photos, which also explains why I'm so family focused. My dad had a Minolta film camera. You know, I always would get excited that he would let me use it and then I'd run around and be literally shooting with it. But it was film. And um, he would always, every weekend, would go develop all the film, get his duplicates, and then we would, my mom would actually spend a lot of time putting those photos into albums. So in a way, my dad was an archivist of, of sorts um, in reference to the family, family moments. And I kind of assumed that responsibility. I'd always get a lot of people who would say, hey, I love your work. And I'd, I'd say, well, why haven't you hired me? Or why haven't you called me? And they say, well, you just look too expensive or you look too creative. And I was like, what does that mean? So I felt that there was a disconnect with the audience. And ultimately, I, I needed to rely on storytelling to help me connect a relatable subject matter to my audience. I think every artist has a treasure in the sense that they are unique as, as individuals and we all have individual stories that are so rich with culture, with experience, with knowledge. And to give ourselves an opportunity to, to kind of quiet the noise of saying, oh, I need to do this because this person's doing this, or, or I need to put myself in this position and to be, get attention in this area. But just look back at ourselves and I believe that we all have the greatest stories to offer. If we just focus on ourselves, um, be authentic with who we are um, and allow that to resonate with others in, in different ways or impact. And those are the stories that I felt have been most uh, interesting to the folks that I put my work out to. Been working with a lot of artists lately and the cool thing about it is I enjoy meeting the person before I meet their work because it gives more depth to who they are and it also leaves room for surprise and you know being able to uh, have a an, an interaction that is solely built on hey I want to connect with you and learn your story and then be amazed by all the great things that are surrounding you afterwards and I really enjoy that and being able to capture that person in a way that I see them as a treasure is um, it's it's real it's a, it's a joy I am not one to say that I know everything matter of fact I know little to nothing <laughs> I got a lot of room for knowledge so if you're you, you got something to say I'm here to listen and grow from but also through that same example I'm, I'm looking at others and their examples and I take inspiration and it motivates me to, to push harder and as you know, and a lot of times I would say, you know, to keep scratching until I see that breakthrough. Before I start any gig, no matter what it is, I, I'm always a little bit nervous. And that nervousness lets me know that I'm on the right path. And as I go into the, 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 the process, I lose myself. And before I know it, it's over or I've completed the project. And it's nothing like a feeling of being able to allow, some people would call it muscle memory, but I, I would think of it as a, a creative muscle um, that allows you to lose yourself and to not overthink what you're doing, to go headstrong and rely on the skills and knowledge and experience that you've had over the years in, in reference to what you do, and just be confident without even really worrying about what you know someone else is gonna think, just offering your best self, your best work. Imagine a crowd all looking at a stage and every everybody's attention is there, 
well, it'd be easy to just go in the same direction and look at the stage. But my focus is find out what the crowd's not looking at and then show them. Give them a reason to turn away from the main stage and actually look at something um, in a different way. And in a lot of cases, that's the way I shoot. You know, this is the easy thing. Of course, we want to see the skyline and all that. But what are we missing when we're when we're turned around and being able to to highlight something and things that you know maybe folks are missing or maybe taking for granted? I want folks to to see that there's a unique story in all of us. I just so happen to use photography and in some cases writing to tell my story. But I feel like we all have an opportunity to tell our story and it's worth it's worth being put out there. I am John Stevens. I am a photographer. I am an artist. I am a storyteller. This is my voice and this is my life.